Man, did I miss that intro. If you guys actually want to support this channel in the best and easiest ways possible as we slowly rebrand back to the good old days, make sure you guys comment down below anything as it will help the algorithm tremendously by simply having comments on the video. So comment down your favorite cheesecake, your favorite Fortnite character, it could be absolutely anything. Hopping directly into it though, we have for you guys, first things up is from Hypex who has now retweeted something from May 23rd, 2020. Uh, here is the final stage of the Doomsday device. It should appear in two to four days. Now, this is actually pretty strange as two to four days from today would actually be the 20.40 update, the last update of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. And that also means that the Doomsday device should be coming out at some point inside that update as he is the biggest leaker. And him and Shinna always have kind of these weird little things going on where they leak stuff out early in subtle ways. So I think this is his subtle way to let us know that a Doomsday device should be added over on Tuesday's update. So definitely look forward to that. Uh, we also have for you guys in today's small content update, which was honestly pretty random. Uh, the shield bubbles and balloons are unvaulted now for trial until May 16th when the voting stations start. So those are some pretty cool returning items. We also have for you guys Fortnite X Marvel Zero War issue cover number 3. Uh, could this be part of the rideable animals they are currently working on? So this cover is pretty dang awesome looking. We see a bunch of Fortnite characters, but we also see the first look at possible rideable animals that was just leaked out last week. Now to coincide with this, we also have for you guys the plot of the Season 3 issue. Uh, from Shinna, Issue 3 Plot, the return of the unlikely ally brings Iron Man and the Foundation closer to their goal. It's an all-out brawl against Stigron, hopefully I'm saying that right, image below, and his dinosaur hybrids as the hunt for the Zero Shard heats up. Stigron's not the only villain interested in the Zero Shard. Alright, so we can definitely note that this might realistically be the first look at another Fortnite character coming soon as well as, according to Donna Mustard, most of the characters inside the comic books coincide with the Fortnite universe, so we could also be seeing uh, Stigaron or whatever his name is instead of Fortnite by the end of Chapter 3 Season 2. So that is also something to look forward to, possibly over on Tuesday. Now, talking about Monday and Tuesday, we have another announcement coming from Fall Guys, which coincides with Fortnite, actually. Uh, huh, look, another preview. Click, click. The big announcement, 16th of May, over on Monday at 1800 BST. To get notified when the announcement goes live, check out our pinned tweet. Hi, everybody. So, in this announcement, we can actually see if we zoom into the bottom left-hand corner, that is the Nintendo announcer, and he's also holding the brand new Nintendo OLED Switch, which is most definitely hint that uh, Fall Guys is definitely coming over Nintendo, and it also means it's also coming to uh, free-to-play in all platforms, but also that, according to Hypex and Shinna, the biggest leakers, this also means that we could also be seeing it coming to Fortnite with some additional rewards. So, there's a pretty big announcement coming soon over on Monday. So stay tuned for that and make sure you guys are in fact subscribed. From Akko or Ego, everything we know about Chapter 3 Season 3 so far, the waterfall effect potentially on Lou Lake. And yeah, so that's, an, so that's the first map change of Season 3. Uh, Indiana Jones outfit, which was confirmed by Tabor Hill. Dark Vader outfit potentially in the battle pass and a boss on the map again confirmed from Tabor Hill. Uh, the Family Guy collaboration is currently not confirmed. The Doom Slayer outfit is currently confirmed and coming soon. Uh, the Zero War comics minor map changes throughout the rest of the season and of course into season 3. Now I think the best one so far is definitely the waterfall effect. I think the waterfall effect is going to have a pretty significant part of the actual storyline because the waterfall effect is also over at Loop Lake and Loop Lake is apparently the location of the Doomsday Device 2.0. So over on Monday or Tuesday's update, we'll be seeing the first look at what is going to happen to the Loop Lake for it to actually be a waterfall. Potentially a massive bomb goes off, then it creates a massive cave. Honestly, no idea, but definitely stay tuned for that as well. Now, to add to this stuff from Echo once again, we all know Donald Mustard said that Chapter 2 Season 8, Chapter 3 Season 1, and Chapter 3 Season 2 are his favorite parts. Until the one thing. Chapter 3 Season 3 is probably that thing. It is because of the Marvel Comics, Dark Vader, or shocking revelations at the conclusion of the war for the Zero Point. We'll have to wait and see. So yes, Donald Mustard, who of course works on Epic Games storyline, is saying that, you know, probably in Chapter 3 Season 3, uh, that is going to be his favorite season so far. So something very, very big is going to happen by the end of the season to take us into that brand new season. So again, make sure you guys have notifications on 
We also have three guys from Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games, uh, said this. So from Shit Up. Uh, Tim Sweeney has confirmed that the Creative Mode 2.0, uh, the Unreal Editor of Fortnite, will definitely be released this year. He also said this, we are building an economy and it will help creators build businesses around their work. So I must say the creator of Epic Games and of course the creator of Fortnite is such a great guy. He is making to Creative Mode 2.0 have the ability to create jobs outside of Fortnite and outside of of course Epic Games himself. So big kudos to actually Tim Sweeney. In other news, Epic are working on an environmental item called Daisy, which has a slurp heal effect. Any guesses on what it could be for? Maybe a new biome or area. And Fitzy said, what if it's for Lou Lake's waterfall and it will have a slurp heal effect? Now, I forgot to include this as of course you guys could definitely see it came out 8 minutes ago and as I was recording this, well, it's been 8 minutes. So unfortunately speaking, this was not added through the current part of the video or the correct part of the video I should say. Uh, so yeah, but you guys could definitely get the point. Uh, upcoming very, very soon could definitely be for uh, the upcoming waterfall over at Loot Lake and it will have some sort of new biome or a heal effect inside of the water. So leave your guesses down below. What could this possibly be for? Uh, honestly, no idea myself. And lastly speaking, we have for you guys something pretty significant. So uh, a Fortnite creator, which I believe his name was Blaze Fortnite, was selling Fortnite mods or hacks. And he actually got caught and was ha and had to go to court with Epic Games. So he made this statement today after he lost his lawsuit. Hey everyone, this is Blaze Fortnite. Up until recently, I sold unauthorized Fortnite cheats and compromised Fortnite player accounts. I will not be doing this anymore because Epic Games caught me and commenced legal proceedings against me in Australia. I am also subject to legal restrictions that prevent me from doing this in the future and have to pay a monetary settlement which Epic Games will donate to charity. I like to apologize to the Fortnite community. What I did was illegal and gave players an unfair advantage over other players over other people who play by the rules. I won't do this ever again. Please do not contact me about Fortnite cheats or Fortnite player accounts. So that is pretty crazy. Uh, it's still unknown as far as how much will be donated or how much he was sued for, but I would say it's a pretty significant amount. So a little word of advice to you guys, do not cheat in Fortnite, you will get caught. So that is all we have for you guys for today's Fortnite Daily News Refresh. As always, if you want to support the channel, use Cuddle Tomorrow's on the Fortnite item shop. And of course, to support this video by, of course, coming down below absolutely anything for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys in tomorrow's Daily News Refresh.